Hello, Flosstube. I'm Stephanie. I am one half of the duo that is Snarky Stick, Stitch and Quilt. Uh, in our last video, we discussed that we might be doing uh, individual videos from time to time since we can't get together as often as we'd like to. So um, I thought that today I would do the Know Your Needleworker tag and show you a few of my works in progress, my whips. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, number one says, where do you live? I live in Longview, Texas. It's a medium-sized town, about 80,000 people or so, about two hours east of Dallas and about 45 minutes from Louisiana. So I'm up in the northeastern corner of Texas. Um, what do you do for a living? I am a teacher. I teach reading at a rural school. A small school and I work with kids who are struggling and need to help improve their reading skills so they can do better in all their other classes. Um, I really enjoy it. I'm a reader. I love to read. I want everybody to be readers too. Um, so it's perfect for me. Um, number three, do you have any children? I have three. I have um, a daughter who is 28. Um, my middle son is 21. And he just moved to Rochester, New York recently in January. And I have a son who is uh, just turned 17 in March. My daughter has two children. My oldest daughter has two children. They are um, a little girl who's eight and a little girl, a little boy who's four. Um, number four, do you have any pets? I have a cat named Evangeline and a dog named Roxy. Let's see if I can show you Roxy. Roxy. There's Roxy. So if you hear any snorting or snuffling or anything like that, that's Roxy. She has to be everywhere I am. So she will probably go lay down and go back to sleep here in a minute. But if you hear snoring or snuffling or snorting, that's Roxy, not me. Um, okay, number five. What are your other hobbies besides stitching? Um, I... I'm a quilter. It's in our title, <laughs> Snarky Stitch and Quilt. Um, I'm a quilter. I also sew. I um, not clothes so much. Sometimes I make clothes, um, but I like to make bags. I've been making project bags like these recently. So I'm really enjoying making them. And in fact, I have a project, a whip that doesn't have a bag. And so when I'm finished with this video, I'm going to make myself a bag for that. Um, and so I thought I would show you a couple of my recent quilts. So if you give me just a second, I'm going to pick those up. Uh, this is a focus. There we go. This is a quilt pattern by Bonnie Hunter, a quilt designer, and it's called Christmas Lights. And my online quilting group friends, who we sometimes do quilt retreats together called Snarky Quilters, we did this this past fall, winter, together. We did a stitch sew along, quilt along. And then this is also a Bonnie Hunter pattern. Every year she does a mystery quilt. And I've done them for the past four or five years. And this one is called Good Fortune. It's too big to hold up the whole thing. But there you kind of get an idea of all the colors. She got her color ideas after a trip to China. And it was really a lot of fun to make. Let's see if I can, you can see. There you can see the whole corner and everything. Um, I primarily make scrap quilts. It just suits my personality. <laughs> and I have just recently purchased a long arm. So I have a whole lot of tops and I hope to get those quilted pretty soon. I'm missing a cord for my long arm. So as soon as I get that cord in, I'll probably be going to town on the long arm. Okay, so number six, what is your favorite movie? This is really hard, and in, depending on the day you ask me, I might have a different answer. But today I'm going to go with Fifth Element. I'm a big fan of the um, sci-fi genre, 
and if you ask me a movie that I'm going to pick up and watch anytime it's on, Fifth Element. So, ask me a different day, I might have a different answer. Um, uh, number seven is hard for me too. What is your favorite TV show? I don't have cable, so I stream a lot, but I have a lot of different series that I like to watch. My, and this is probably an unpopular opinion, my favorite is Torchwood. I love Doctor Who, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Doctor Who, but I really like Captain Jack. So I love Torchwood, and I saw rumors recently of a new Torchwood. I'm excited. Um, what is your favorite book? Uh, my answer to this pretty much is yes. I'm a reader. I'm a reading teacher. I like books. I like to read. Um, but more specific answer, uh, I've really been, since actually since it first came out in the late 80s, I've enjoyed the Outlander series. Um, I'm rereading Harry Potter. I like young adult books. My favorite genre of books would be historical fiction. Um, but I'll read anything from nonfiction. I like true crime, so I'll read um, Anne Rule, books like that. Um, so I'll read anything from nonfiction to young adult fiction. I have to read a lot of young adult, fi young adult fiction for my job so that I can recommend things to kids. But I don't not enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of good young adult books out there. Um, the Outlander series. Um, the Cadfell series. So, yeah, books. All of them. Um, what is your favorite music? My favorite music is rather eclectic. Um, I am a late 80s child mid 80s late 80s child um growing up teenager then and um i'm love punk music from way back and so i have never lost that love for it um the stuff that was called new wave or goth back in the 80s was is also uh listen i like rockabilly and ska and psychobilly um i was in band growing up so um, I am a music lover, and I pass that on to my youngest, who is will be a senior next year and has decided that when he graduates, he's going to be a music major. Yay. And um, so pretty much there's not any type of music I don't like, but I like the rockabilly, ska, punk, goth stuff. I do like country I'm not a big fan of the newer stuff, but I like country, you know, like uh, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Wayne Hancock, which is Texas Swing. So that kind of stuff. Um, number 10 is the hardest thing ever. Um, what word best describes you? Um, I'm going to go with, and it's not one word. <laughs> I got to be difficult but it's really young at heart uh, I'm younger than I look I'm gonna be 50 this year and but I don't feel 50 so young at heart if you're my friend and you know me you tell me what describes me because I don't know okay so let's get on with the whips I don't have as many whips as a lot of people do, but um, I do have a few. I'm missing two. Um, one of them is in my car, and I didn't want to bring it in because I would forget to put it back, and it's my travel project. It is the, and I believe I showed it in our last video, it's Be Inspired by Stitch Rovia, and um, you'll probably see it again when I finish it. Um, the other one is residing right now at my mother's house. My mom is a stitcher as well. Hi, mom. And uh, I go to her house and we stitch together a lot. So I have one that kind of sits at her house so I don't have to travel my projects. And that one is the Modern Folk, Folk Embroidery Stitch Along for 2019. I am almost done with March. I'm, I got behind. 
and I'll be starting, I'll probably finish that today or tomorrow, and I'll be starting April this weekend. So hopefully I'm going to get caught back up before May. So those are two I don't have with me. And here are my others. So I believe I showed this as well, but I've got a little bit further on it. This is a Susanna Folly Tombstone Angel by Kathy Barrick. Um, I love it. I love the tombstone patterns. I have a bunch more lined up to do when I finish this one. I love the gothy stuff, tombstones and things. So this is a 32 count Belfast and cream. And this, the floss is color and cotton caramel brownie. And um, I got started on this little snake uh, Thursday. So I'm really enjoying stitching on this. This needle minder is from, it's wood, and it's from Retromantic Frippery on Etsy. And I just thought it was appropriate for the tombstone. All right, next project. I have a bad habit of finding mysteries or stitch alongs or things like that when they're nearly done. This is a project by, the blog is Magical Squilts and More. She's Magical525 on Instagram. And um, this was her, her mystery stitch along for 2018. And um, I don't have a picture to show you because it's all PDF charts. There's no finished shot. But this is where I am on this. This is, I think, 18 count Ada. The floss is DMC 4240 in the color variations. And I never can get those flosses to show up as pretty on camera as they do in person. Um, these, this is the first five parts out of 48 parts. Have quite a ways to go. But I'm really enjoying stitching on it, and I think it's going to be gorgeous when I'm finished. Okay. Oh, this is in a bag I made. The fabric is from Tokyo Milk, a fabric designer. They also do makeup, I think. All right. Next project is, um, it's Catch the Wind. It's also a PDF, so I don't have a picture to show you. Um, it, it was a mystery that I got in about a week before they finished it, but I'm still doing it. It is by, um, Tempting Tangles. I'm sorry. I just went blank. Um, I love nautical things and this just struck me as amazing. Look at the little sea serpent that I've started in his little tongue. The, this is, I think, some more of the 32 count Belfast that the tombstone is on. And the um, flosses are Ship's Manor flosses. And I'm loving the variegation in these flosses. Two thumbs up for Ship's Manor. Love it. All right. Uh, next one. This is, um, oh, I have a picture. I can show you the picture of this one. This is by Ink Circles. And this is Little Alien Schoolgirl. This goes right up my little nerdy alley. I love it all. I love everything about it. I love that it has Voynich manuscript stuff. I love that it has references to Futurama, etc. Okay. If you have not gone and read the blog posts about this chart, I'll try to link it down below, but you need to go read them. They're hilarious. So here is my progress on Little Alien Schoolgirl. Focus. This is... 18 count oatmeal Ada and those are the DMC conversion it called for a week's dye works but there were a lot and so I just went with the DMC this little guy right here he's a sandworm 
You see him? So, that's Little Alien School Girl. One of my favorite stitches, and I haven't stitched on it in long enough in a, in a while, so I need to get back to it. Um, last but not least, in a tulip pink bag. This is my project I said I was never going to do. I was always very adamant that I was not going to do a full coverage project. I think it was because I never just saw any that spoke to me. They were just not my thing. Um, I really am enjoying watching Bindi Stitchy and her Contessa and Squid. I like that, but I got to do my own thing. So I'm doing It's Colossal Octopus, Dennis Montfort by Unconventional X Stitch, all 64 pages of it. And I did get a little start. It's not much of a start, but I got 300 stitches done right here. And it's about, that's about six different flosses. So it's going to be a little bit before I get into anything. I remember when I was looking at the flosses for this, there were 16 different colors of gray. I might have bit off a little more than I can chew, but maybe sometime before I die, I'll have a finished full coverage piece and I can say, check that off. I've done one. So, uh, that's all I have to show you for today. Um, stay tuned. We're going to record a video to together next weekend. We'll be at our quilt retreat. I can't wait. I'm excited. So we'll record a video there. And so you'll get to see both of us. Um, if you haven't done so, go back and watch our last video. Um, we um, did a giveaway and we don't have very many comments on it. So you have a really good chance of possibly winning something. So go back and watch that last video. Make sure you don't say giveaway. We'll delete the ones that say giveaway. We told you what to say. So you have to watch the video. Um, so I'm going to sign off here because we're under a tornado watch. And um, yeah, um, it's getting rather nasty outside. So have a happy stitching day.